by late June and into July, we typically get the first really warm days and nights of the year. Animals, birds, plants, everything that lives is hard at work on the next generation. I love the variety we see with the changing seasons, but that variety can be subtle. You have to take the time to look. We spent most of July in northwestern Oregon visiting our own next generation and making some time to just look. There was plenty to see. A whole different set of plants and trees, of course, but even some familiar bird species look a little different thereabouts. I knew about the Oregon variation of the familiar dark-eyed junco, but even the robins are noticeably different. Oregon robins are duller. They have no fun at all. Given the regional variations, with many birds in their midsummer molt and fledglings taking flight everywhere, I was seeing unfamiliar birds at every turn. While we were there, I visited the Chehalem Ridge Nature Preserve several times. This is a brand new 1,300 acre park in the eastern foothills of the Oregon Coast Range near Hillsboro. The elevation at the park is around 1,000 feet and the area has the two season climate of the Willamette Valley. A wet chilly winter with lots of rain and a hot dry summer with endless sun. Before it became a county park, most of the land was a tree plantation covered with the same aged trees. A few sections do contain some older growth and the watercourses provide variety. My first surprise was seeing the half inch thick rings on the stumps of trees that had been cut to build trails through the park. I counted the rings on one 14 inch diameter stump and the tree was only around 30 years old. Satellite imagery from the mid-1990s shows that much of what is now the park was then an open field. The trees we see today were planted around that time. They sure don't grow like that around here. But the thing I will always remember was what could easily be a once-in-a-lifetime sighting of a bobcat. The bobcat posed nicely in perfect light and held still long enough for me to get good pictures. I've seen bobcats in the Adirondacks, but those were fleeting glances. 
this was spectacular. Variety is good, and some things that I looked right past before now stand out. I'm glad to be home. Yes, winter is coming, but first we get the fall. And fall in the Adirondacks is as good as it gets. <laughs>